Ali, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another episode of what to wear if you have nothing to wear summer edition. So I asked you on Instagram to ask me some questions on your summer fashion dilemmas and you asked a lot of great questions on like how to wear a cover up from the beach to a night out, more conservative summer outfits because not all of you want to show off your legs or your chest area. During the hot weather all you want to do is wear nothing. We have a lot of really great questions and I can't wait to share with you my tips in this video. So if you enjoy it, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the button here or down below. Don't forget to like this video and click on the notification bell. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Go! So another summer essential is a kimono as a cover-up. I really like this one, super breezy, comfortable, feels really silky on my body. So this one is from Target. It honestly reminds me of a mid-century modern couch. Something about it, right guys? So next I'm going to show you a very simple way to transform your day look to a nighttime look. So maybe you're going to the beach during the day and you have this cover-up on and you want to transform it into a nighttime look to wear to a restaurant. This is a really simple fashion hack to transform your entire look. it has the two slits on the slide on the side you can tie it in the front so it looks like a longer kind of crop top shirt so you can knot it twice like this and then for the sash I ended up tying it on my straw bag just to add a similar pattern detail to it What to wear if your waist is not small. So maybe you're curvier on the bottom. So for me, I would avoid wearing any tight cotton bodycon skirts because those are things that kind of attach to your curves and really accentuates your bottom half. I like denim skirts because it's still like a line. It kind of lays flat over your body. It doesn't really hug your curves as much, but still very figure flattering. I would recommend wearing a wrap dress or a wrap skirt. And you're like, what is this? <laughs> it looks like a blob of fabric. <laughs> I like that you smile too. Because I'm like, yeah, you're doing amazing. <laughs> The other one's already in. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. One of my favorite summer fashion essentials is a black tube top. I feel like it's very streamlined and pretty timeless in my opinion. So one really simple way to wear a tube top is layered underneath of a pair of overalls. So these ones are from Target. They're super comfortable and stretchy. I paired it with this wool hat, my brand new mules from Madewell, and this little tiny backpack. I feel like I could go to the farmer's market, grocery shopping, or just, you know, hanging out with my friends. I've been really wanting to go to a strawberry farm for the summertime, so I thought, why not dress like a little farmer to inspire my boyfriend to take me there? But seriously, I think this outfit is super cute and I just really love the look of denim with cotton. Super cute. Come on now, come on. What's your cool hat? What's your one of my favorite hairstyles during the summer is like a loose, messy top knot bun. And then I'll just like wrap it around once and then take a hair elastic and then tie it on the top. 
If you have shorter hair like me, sometimes you'll have like pieces sticking out. I like to use a bandana. So I'll fold it into a triangle and then fold it again. Just kind of bring it into a loose piece like this. So now taking the bandana, I'll wrap it around the bun. Super cute, fun way to add a bandana to your hair and a fun pop of color for summer. A tube top is a pretty great cover-up if you have a low-cut dress. I know a lot of you are a bit more conservative and like to dress more modestly, so you can wear this underneath of any low-cut top or dress. This one is from Rails, and I really love the red color, and I just feel a lot more comfortable wearing this underneath. More conservative. <laughs> Consists of low-cut shirts or shoes. <laughs> The next question is a really good one. It says, do you have any outfit ideas for people who prefer to dress more conservatively, for those who have like personal reasons or religious reasons for not wanting to look as exposed? I know summer is typically a time where people wear really short shorts or like to show off their skin. This summer I went to a church wedding and I didn't want to look too revealing. So I ended up wearing this dress right here. Should we we look good? I, I, okay. I pulled it back a lot. This one plays up with the large sleeve, so it's still very fashionable and still very form fitting, but not showing too much skin. You say, remember my name when you're famous and too cool. Real name, what's your real name? You can be whatever. So I'm on the fence about this dress. Do I look like a butterfly or a football player? Comment down below. I believe that you could definitely play around with fun summer silhouettes without sacrificing your style. Some of my favorite summer essentials are straw hats and straw bags. I think these are great accessories to dress up a simple top and jean shorts type of look. Straw bag, straw hats. I also love like woven sandals. These ones are super comfortable. I have my favorite Madewell belt. And then another fun floppy straw hat. Gotta have all of your different hair accessories um, with like pearls or gold accents. These are my favorite classic Ray-Bans. Super cute. Last but not least, comfy mules. So you can walk all day long, all summer long. I know a lot of you wanted me to share with you some tips on how to dress up basic jean short and top outfit ideas. So I think all you really need are a few key accessories. Like I really love this pearl beret, these like gold clips. Um, sunglasses are another great accessory to add like color and also some like flair to an outfit. To wearing straw hats I like to keep my outfit pretty simple that's why I'm wearing this plain color top I think it adds a great little accent to any look I know not all of us want to get a tan this summer which is why I love giant straw hats like this back in Asia have like giant umbrellas but hats are also a great accessory too for the next question we have can you make a video on how to make your clothes not look old or not old? Because some of my clothes, whenever we use them, obviously we wash them, but two, you seem to wash your clothes, it turns old clothes plus fabric changes, it kind of turns, I don't know what it's called, but the fabric becomes more old like you used called. Anyways, please do a video like this. This is actually a really great question because I find even when I go shopping and I'll buy certain fabrics and I'll take it home, after one or two washes, the clothing will suddenly feel and look old. And that's because maybe 
the clothes will start pilling or start to wrinkle very easily. This top I just purchased from Target and I already know that this one, after a day, just starts to look wrinkly because linen just tends to fold and crease really easily whereas fabrics like polyester will not. This one holds its shape and it'll feel nice and silky for a lot longer because it's made out of a synthetic material whereas cottons just tend to look older older Quite so if you can't tell i'm super excited to go to a fruit farm so comment down below and let me know what is your favorite fruit mine is strawberry mango and watermelon <laughs> So you've reached the end of this video. Comment down below and let me know if you have any other questions that I haven't answered in this video. You can also watch the entire Nothing to Wear series, which I'll have linked down below. My Instagram is Fashion by Ally if you want daily style inspiration. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!